Hello, welcome to the Sewing Circle. It's Leslie and this is my channel. I am so happy you're here today. I'm super excited. As you can see, I have my hearts on today because we are coming up rapidly to February and February is Valentine's Day. And Valentine's Day is one of my favorite holidays. I love all things love, romance, connection, and I absolutely love the hearts and the reds and the pinks. So today's episode is going to be on handmade items for your Valentine. Now I have been working on items for girlfriends of mine and I am excited to share with you. If that sounds exciting to you, stick around. If you're new here, please take the time to like and subscribe. I would love to connect with you. This is a sewing circle, so make comments. Tell me what you are making uh, this week. What are you doing for Valentine's Day? Do you have any hot plans yet or do you hope to remind your guy? I did have a few ideas like about that so stick around my husband and I you know we live on 12 acres and we love it here I recently we had just a lot of rain in Northern California and on our property one of the great things is that we have a seasonal creek that runs through it so every year when it rains a lot my husband and I will walk down the property and go look at the seasonal creek I have found um, a crystal in that creek and I've also had my son pan for gold and found large flakes of gold that he could retrieve from our creek. So it's very magical and I would love to share a little footage of the property with you throughout this video. Now Valentine's Day. I have a lot of girlfriends and some of them are single, some of them are married, but don't we all just love to get a Valentine's gift? What I have been working on is coffee cozies and um, these are them. Um, what I did is use Valentine's Day fabrics and scrap fabrics that I had. Um, this is a, a linen scrap and of course my stamps with my permanent ink and I made these off of a template that I downloaded for free and I will share that and show you that here but um, isn't it lovely how creative we can become this is just hearts placed on top that I've just freehand cut out hearts placed them on top of the top fabric and then did stitching around them, quilting with my quilting foot like I've done in other videos. That bow was just free-handed. The flower and love was just stamped on. And of course, on the inside, I have Stamp Studio 17, which is kind of my tag. Um, <clears throat> these are really fun. They go together very easily. Jenny Baker from um, In Color Order um created this free template for us now i got so excited about making these i had so much fun making them and just anticipating how my friends would enjoy getting these my idea is um and here here's a starbucks cup with i actually have a couple of them here with the the cozies on and i did add like a little velcro tab so they're easy clothes most of my friends are moms and so when you want to take this off you don't want to have to like unsnap unbutton you just want to be able to rip them off or pull them off get them off of your cup and um, move on to the next thing so I made these with a little square of velcro I did go and order myself a coffee just to model these for you and um, when I ordered the coffee, I asked for a, an extra cup and a lid. So I had two so you could see that there are some differences in what I did here. I guess these ones are very similar. But um, I did them a little bit different, each one. 
and it was really fun. My idea is to print off um, the label, which you'll see again here. Like it's a car stock that, um, and it's, of course, I love how it says, I love you a latte. And then I will put a gift card inside of the sleeve like a five dollar starbucks gift card um for my gals now along with that i got really excited and decided to make each one a little mug rug as well out of the scraps of fabric i just cut one inch strips and pieced them together into one big long strip and then cut them into uh five and a half by five and a half squares i did use my stamp on the back just said hello with a little flower and um these just make such a cute little set now snow line hospice um, I was seeking uh, some thread I my cones of thread have been running low I've been running my serger with tan white and light pink in it trying to kind of assimilate a white and it's just not looking very professional and this year I've just really been focused on looking more professional in my creativity so I stopped in at snow line they often have the big spools of thread now they had the Sherlock overlock thread like these. These are the three I got. One of them is a little bit dirty, as you can see, but once I run it through the machine really quickly, it'll clean up, or I might just unwind it. Um, these were marked $2.99 a cone, and they charged me $2 a cone because this one was dirty. So that was exciting. And, you know, I've been talking to you guys about frugality and what do we have in our hand and gratitude and using what we have and I've uh, been working really hard to use up things that I have around here already patterns I have already but here's the big but when I was there for the thread I actually came across these two zip bags they did not have a price on them but I was very excited about what was in them there were new spools of thread, a marker. This is florist wire, elastic. Um, there is a tape measure in there. It is a cotton, well, I don't remember what you call this, but like the waffly fabric. And in there was this mysterious, oh, buttons, this mysterious pattern already cut out. So I opened it and looked inside and what I found was pretty exciting. It is the Pippet loungewear set in cut out in a size 12 which is my size in this loungewear set. Um, and it, it comes with the buttons. It is a beautiful pattern. Um, the whole thing is cut out. The whole pattern is here. There were not instructions. But, which I probably could figure it out on my own, but I did Google and found that there are video instructions for putting together this Pippet lounge set. I paid $4 for all of this together. And I was very excited and very happy, went ahead and picked that deal up. Now, they just had too many good things. And I did also pick up this little $1 item it is a uh, one of these it's one it's you know it's one of the I don't know what you call it the tube top the the pre pre sewn elasticated top um, piece of fabrics so there's a piece of it but my idea with this is that I will use this end part to make sleeves for a top that's in the purple and blue hoping I can get that out for one dollar so I thought this was really beautiful It'd be beautiful for this summer to put together so 
stay tuned because I will be making that. <clears throat> so those were the, my finds at the thrift shop this week, and I was really excited. I'm really, I'm really looking forward to showing you the loungewear set. Hope that I can put that together this next week and share it with you. We have to look for what we have in our hand and have gratitude, but also it's okay to go ahead and enjoy shopping for ourselves and taking advantage of deals that are along the way. So, oh, here's my crazy tips for how to remind your significant other that you have a Valentine's expectation if you do. One thing is to wear Valentine's things before Valentine's Day. How do you like my new Valentine's sweater, honey? No, I didn't make this one. I picked it up at the shop, but I thought it was so cute and I can't wait to wear it on Valentine's Day. Or maybe a little pair of Valentine's socks for your sweetheart. Hey, I got you a pair of Valentine's socks so you will remember that Valentine's Day is coming. Or maybe just a straight up conversation that says, Valentine's Day is coming, honey, and it means a lot to me. Could you please remember that I would like chocolate and roses? What's your clever way of reminding your significant other that Valentine's Day is coming or do you even celebrate Valentine's Day? So that's what I have for this week. Don't forget to find time to create every week. Creativity grows us, it brings happiness and creates endorphins. So. From my little sewing trailer to your home.